Here are some of the most amazing mega projects that will be completed in 2023, ranging from enormous dams to record-breaking buildings, as well as the relocation of whole capital cities and the creation of artificial islands. Number 10. Egypt's New Capital Egypt's future capital will emerge from a desert 50 kilometers to the east of Cairo in 2022. There are more than 20 million people living in the historic capital of Cairo, which has reached the limit of its infrastructure. The population is expected to quadruple by 2050, adding to the city's already crowded, filthy, and congested conditions. The new capital will separate from Cairo's urban sprawl and provide a new home for 6 million people in addition to a new headquarters for the government. The iconic tower, Africa's highest skyscraper, as well as government buildings and green areas twice the size of Central Park in New York City, will be included in the project's first phase. The majority of the government offices have already begun migrating into the nameless new capital. It is one of the most costly mega-projects being built in 2023, with a $40 billion budget. Number 9. New York's New Airport Terminal the largest airport in New York, which already boasts the second busiest city airport system in the world, is about to become much better. The JFK Airport will undergo a $9.5 billion renovation beginning in 2022, marking the greatest private investment in such a project to date. The upgrades are intended to elevate JFK Airport to the ranks of the world's most sought-after airports. The present Terminal 1, the 59-year-old Terminal 2, and the already demolished Terminal 3 will be replaced by the new Terminal 1. The new terminal has undergone some significant renovations, including bigger check-ins, contemporary construction, and exhibitions depicting well-known New York sites. The first of the new Terminal 1's 23 new gates will be open for business by 2026, although construction will continue throughout the decade. Number 8. Jeddah Economic City Saudi Arabia published Saudi Vision 2030 and 2016 in an effort to lessen its reliance on oil and diversify its economy toward investments in tourism. A crucial component of that goal is the $20 billion Jeddah Economic City, whose development is moving along steadily. The three areas of the city are presently being worked on as all road and landscaping construction is almost finished. The world's tallest tower is slated to be built in Jeddah Economic City. There are more than 200 skyscrapers planned for the city, even if the Jeddah Tower's future is still uncertain. We may expect additional towers to emerge from Saudi Arabia's largest megaproject once the fundamental infrastructure is finished. Number 7. New Clark City Another nation preparing a fallback capital is the Philippines, in case Manila ceases to operate as intended. Manila is situated on the edge of the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is home to the majority of earthquakes and active volcanoes in the globe. Authorities deem the adjacent tall volcano to be highly active, and several hundred thousand people would need to be evacuated in the case of a catastrophic eruption. Because of this, the Philippines is constructing New Clark City about 100 kilometers north of Manila, in a more strategic position. It will have brand new government buildings, special economic zones and residences for up to 1.2 million people. It will be larger than Manhattan. The city will be built out in five stages over the course of 30 years, with the first phase expected to be finished in 2023. Number 6. Vietnam's New Airport Ho Chi Minh City is the biggest urban region in Vietnam, home to over 9 million people. Despite only having enough for 25 million passengers, its major airport serviced more than 35 million travelers in 2019. During the COVID-19 epidemic, the congestion was reduced. Nonetheless, Vietnam is going forward with a long-term fix. In January 2021, the government gave its approval for the new Long Than International Airport to be built. The airport, which is 40 kilometers east of Ho Chi Minh City, will be built in three stages and ultimately accommodate 100 million people annually. Around 18% of the nation is polluted by mines as a consequence of the Vietnam War, one of the highest percentages in the world. The mine identification and clearance work were eventually finished by 2021, and the project is now prepared to start building. The project's first phase will be finished six months sooner than anticipated, allowing the airport to accommodate 25 million people annually. To increase capacity to 50 million people, the airport's Corporation of Vietnam will build a second runway and extend the passenger terminal in the second phase. The project will cost $16 billion to complete in its three stages, making it the most costly infrastructure undertaking in Vietnam's history. Number 5. Merdeka Tower 
Without featuring the tallest building now under development, a video highlighting the largest mega-projects of 2023 would fall short. The Merdeka Tower in Malaysia has been under construction since 2014 and will be finished this year. The Merdeka Tower's completion is notable since it could be the last of its type. Due to the epidemic, other anticipated megadol structures, such as the Jeddah Tower and the Dubai Creek Tower, have experienced delays, and it is yet unknown what will become of them. There are no projects planned in the USA that would even approach the size of the Merdeka Tower, and new buildings taller than 500 meters are prohibited in China. That the project has advanced and will be finished in 2023, as a result is what makes it all the more spectacular. The sixth super-tall skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur, Rudeka Tower, stands at a dizzying height of 679 meters, offering the Malaysian capital one of the most striking skylines in the whole world. Number 4. Ancient International Airport The busiest airport in the world and the biggest in South Korea is Seoul's airport. It consistently receives the top rankings for service quality, and its average passenger processing times are among the quickest in the globe. The two terminals at the airport can accommodate more than 70 million people, but there are now plans in place to expand it into one of the largest aviation hubs in the world. The fourth runway at the airport, as well as the extension of Terminal 2, are part of the next phase of work that started in 2017. When both terminals are finished, they will be able to accommodate 50 million people each, and the extra runway will allow Incheon International to handle more than 100 planes each hour. Number 3 the world's biggest soccer stadium. In recent years, the Chinese Super League has generated significant buzz in the football world. By giving them enormous salaries, they have enlisted international superstars like Carlos Tevez, Oscar, and the hope to play in China. The Evergrande Real Estate Group, which controls more than 1,300 buildings in 280 locations around China, was in charge of this financial injection into the league. The corporation began construction of the largest football stadium in the world in 2020 after adding several notable football players to the league. Over 100,000 people might be accommodated in the Guangzhou Evergrande Football Stadium, exceeding the capacity of Barcelona's renowned Camp Nou. The Evergrande Group had planned to finish building the stadium by the end of 2022, but financial difficulties forced them to postpone all of their mega-projects. After missing a major repayment date in December of 2021, the problem at Evergrande became worse. It has almost $300 billion in total liabilities, making it the most indebted firm in the world right now. Chinese officials took over management of the stadium project near the end of last year and placed it up for auction since the primary developer was having financial difficulties. A state-owned investment firm will take over the project if no purchasers can be found but similar to many of Evergrande's unfinished projects, they may opt to stop work completely. Number 2. Moscow International Business Center With the building of two more very tall towers, Russia's aim to develop a financial zone is gaining momentum. The commercial area, which was first envisioned in the 1990s, would house more than 300,000 people and serve as the capital's financial center. Construction first began in 1995. However, as financing dwindled over the next decades, several planned structures had to be postponed or shelved. The project has received $12 billion in investment by 2014, when it was 50% finished. In 2019, work on two well-known buildings, the One Tower and the Grand Tower, was resumed, raising expectations for a prompt completion. The One Tower was initially intended to stand 400 meters tall but further design modifications increased its overall height to 445 meters, making it the highest structure in Europe. The Grand Tower, another skyscraper a few blocks distant, is scheduled to be finished in 2023. The Moscow International Business Center will be finished in 2024, with more than half of the planned facilities already constructed and others under development. Number 1. Denmark's Energy Islands In 1991, Denmark built the first offshore wind farm in history. With the creation of an artificial energy island, they will now advance offshore energy production. The nation is now building a centralized power station, surrounded by windmills in the middle of the North Sea to satisfy its sustainable energy requirements. Geological investigations are conducted to confirm that the seafloor is suitable for constructing foundations before construction can begin. This entails mapping the geological strata down to a depth of 100 meters and surveying the seabed. Four million tons of earth will need to be transported to the North Sea 
in order to build the artificial island. Up to three times the scale of the Statue of Liberty, some of the turbines will be enormous. The facility will reportedly create 50% more energy than is required for the Danish population. Therefore, the excess energy will be sold to nearby nations. The $34 billion project is the biggest building undertaking in Danish history. Denmark will attempt to emulate its success in the Baltic Sea. Which mega project are you most excited about in 2023? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.